All right, I am just here with Midas this morning. I wanted to make a little video showing his owners here how we're gonna be getting him, getting him out of his crate and ready for the day, how we like to start the day with him, and uh, just a little bit of structure and routine we can add to the beginning of the day to get us started on the right foot. So um, I'm here with Midas and I'm gonna open up his kennel. He does already have his e-collar on, so that's gonna be the first step in this process, is making sure the e-collar is charged, the remote is charged, they're both turned on, and then you put that on him. So we're gonna open the door up, we're gonna put that on him, he might, he might you know, get a little excited when you put that on, but once that's on, then you can start holding him accountable for that excitement or those commands. So what we'll do is once that e-collar's on him, we'll open the door and we'll ask him to lay down and he should already be laying down. He kind of has that habit. No, you can see already a little bit of excitement there. Down. And so we're just gonna correct that with a no and then a tap on our e-collar to correct it. No, down. I'm just correcting that so he lays back down again. He's a little bit excited this morning, that's okay. So keeping him nice and calm. We're gonna actually slide a slip leash on him here to start the day. I'm gonna recommend you guys put the slip leash on him for the first few days, for the first week or so at home. Um, just so you guys have some actual physical control of him too using that leash. You can see here, I put the leash on him. No. And his first response is to get back up. So we're just gonna correct that and put him in with down again. Good, so he's back into that down command again. Now we're gonna make sure he stays in this down until we release him here. Nope. Until we release him from this command. So we're gonna make sure he's in this down and then we're gonna make sure he's a little bit more calm as well, not whining, not practicing any overexcited or anxious behavior. So he's in that down command. So now we're gonna go ahead and release him. And the way we're gonna do that is using a recall command. So I'm gonna recall him to me. He's expected to come and sit in front of me. I'll grab that leash and then we'll begin to go up the stairs. We'll heal to the door and we'll head out for our morning potty break. So Midas come, Midas sit. So he laid down there when I said sit, not the biggest of deals. We can always just use the leash to kind of correct that Midas sit. Good, and place him back into that sit. So now we're gonna give him our heel command and we're gonna take him upstairs. We're gonna take him out to the door and we're gonna head outside with him. So nope, just correcting that whining. If I hear any of that whining, I'm just gonna give a no and a correction on my knee collar. No. Okay, we're gonna give him that heel command now. So we're gonna say heel, we're gonna make our way to the door. Midas, heel. Now with the heel command, he's expected not to rush ahead, not to try to rush up the stairs. He should sit on his own as we come up to the stairs, which he's doing here. Again, just a little bit of anxious energy here, but he's doing good maintaining this impulse control at these thresholds that we set. Heel. Again, not rushing up the stairs, not, nope, not pulling us up the stairs or anything, nope. Giving a correction there, sit, because he stopped to sniff that little vest that's on the ground there. He stopped to investigate that. We don't want him doing that. We don't want him investigating this stuff. Um, it's not his, so he can just ignore that stuff and I can deal with it. So we're gonna say heal, and we're gonna walk at the door now. Midas, heal. Sit. Good, so giving that sit command, giving him about a half a second to a second to respond to the command. And if he doesn't immediately respond, nope. We're just gonna tap on our e-collar. And if he breaks the command, we're gonna say no. And we're gonna tap on the e-collar again, right? And play, put him back into that sit, basically. Reset him into that sit. So he's sitting, he's waiting. Now we can say heal and we can start making our way over to the field where we're gonna let him go potty and run around. So we're gonna say heal. And we're gonna start walking with him. So now he's expected to stay in our heal command. He knows the boundary of that command, which is right beside our left leg here just behind it slightly, so you might not necessarily see him. And anytime he steps out of that boundary, we're just gonna correct that on the e-collar. So we're walking over to the field here that we like to pop the dogs in. A little correction there for walking off to the side. We're just gonna turn our level down a touch now. Might have sit. So we're at the field here, so I'm just gonna put him into a sit command before releasing him on break so he can go run around and go potty. So Midas, break. So he is on break and he is free to go potty now. Break. And typically I would just let a long leash or something drag from them out here as well. He's pretty good with this. He's great off leash. So I don't mind just dropping the leash and letting him sniff around and wander. Again, he's on break. So he's allowed to be sniffing. He's allowed to kind of do what he wants in this situation. And we're going to let him do that. So this is kind of how we're going to get him out for his morning potty break, his morning walk. Of course, you can always just let him out into the backyard. There's more, nothing wrong with that either. Just you have to make sure that when you let him out in your backyard, you're doing that same process of moving through the house, 
adding that structure and the routine there, practice and calm behavior before releasing them out the door. And then when you do let them into the backyard, if that's your, your choice, is make sure you're watching him. Make sure the e-collar's on. Make sure you're paying attention to what he's doing out there or even better, be out there with him. Um, but just be ready to, to correct any unwanted behaviors out there. So he's not just free, you know, to do his own thing necessarily, right? And he's on break right now, but you can see he's following pretty well. He's just sniffing. He's doing his thing, right? He's allowed to go potty and stuff like that too, so. And then if we want him back into a command, we'll just give him that command, right? A heal command or a recall command. And then if he doesn't listen because he's on break, we'll hold him accountable by correcting on the e-collar. So if I say heal and he doesn't immediately heal, I'm going to tap on the e-collar and he's going to be expected to come into that heal position. And until he comes into that heel position, I'm going to continue to tap on the e-collar unless I see him coming over to me. I'll show you what that looks like as he's wandering around here. We'll just recall him to us. Like I said, he's doing a pretty good job just sticking with me here, so. Might just break. morning sniffing done so I'm gonna recall him now oh just that he might be peeing I'll take him. Midas come sit nope oh good boy okay so there I recalled him I asked him to sit again he laid down he's got a bit of a habit of doing that right now so we're gonna kind of work on that might have sit good putting him into that sit that's really really nice now I'm gonna say heel heel and he's expected to walk beside my foot, but he can't sniff the ground now because he's in that heel position. He's in a command where he needs to be paying attention to me. Nope. So anytime that nose goes to the ground, we're just going to mark that with a no, and we're going to apply that correction to that. He's getting a little bit bothered by that lanyard that's rubbing his face, I think. Good. Heel. No. And again, just tapping on my stimulation button when that nose goes to the ground. So I've probably corrected like three three times here for sniffing. And it seems like he kind of got the message there with that. And he's uh, no longer doing that. So this is perfect. This is that heel command, heel. And again, just being able to recall him out of that state or like that break, that break command or that free uh, command. So he's not in any command. And then recalling him back into command, being able to switch between those kinds of drives, right? Right now he's in that pack drive. When he's on break, he's in prey drive. He's sniffing, he's engaged with the environment. And it's only okay to do that if we give you permission to do that, right? And even on that break command, we do have we do have a lot of rules, right? So some of those rules that we would have on that break command are no no running towards other people or dogs. Obviously, that's a big, big one. You know, no eating stuff off the ground that we see. So we'll correct for all that stuff. And that's the beauty of the e-collars. We can correct for all of this stuff so easily. Midas sit. Midas break. So again, he's on break. Now, if he were to start, like maybe he saw somebody or saw a dog and he was interested in going towards it, I would simply mark that with a no and correct it the moment I saw him moving in that direction. And then I would recall him back to me, right? A lot of people, I think in those situations, and this is where, again, we'll use a long leash for this so it's safe, especially when he first comes home with the owners. But a lot of people, I think, make the mistake of, so your dog is off leash, they're sniffing, they're engaged with the environment, they're doing their thing. And all of a sudden a dog appears and your dog's first instinct is to start to move towards that. What does everybody do? They recall their dog back to them, right? They say Fido come and Fido of course ignores them, right? And runs towards that dog just like it did every other time before, right? Maybe you're lucky, maybe your dog does have a really good recall and, uh, and Fido does come back when you recall that, but it's gonna happen again the next time he sees that dog off leash. So what our solution for that is, is to when the dog is going at, when the dog is off leash and the dog decides that they're going to go towards that person that that thing that that resource or that trigger as soon as they move towards that we mark that with a no and we we correct so we correct them first for that and then we give them that command so then we recall them we correct the chase we correct that that orientation towards that prey item or towards that resource and then we recall them back towards us right everybody's mistake is they recall they they direct and then correct we want to correct and then direct with this. So 
Again, no correction and then recall. I don't care how far he is out there. I'm gonna give that no first, a correction, and then recall back, okay? And that's gonna prevent it from happening again the next time. What's gonna happen is your dog sees that dog off in the distance next time, and they're gonna remember what happened last time, right? They got corrected for rushing out there and then recalled back to you. So they know the answer is to just stay with you and they avoid the correction. And that's how we get successful with this. And again, Midas is on break right now. Look what he's doing, he's just following me. He's just following me. Hello. Come on. How's it going? <laughs> Hello. Come. Nope. Good. So like, just like that, right? Orienting towards those people. Nope. Come. Heel. Nope. Heel. Shh. Nope. So we're just going to correct that. We're going to recall them into that heel position and then correct that. Heel. Nope. Heel. Good. Nope. Good. Just getting them back into that heel position. We have the level on the e-collar turned up relatively high right now because this is a big distraction for him. We got some children running around over there and yelling and stuff. That's a big distraction for a guy like Midas. So, so we're gonna make sure that we're correcting that at a high level so we inhibit that behavior immediately. We're at what are we at right now? We're at a level 75 on the e-collar right now. So that's kind of where he's at with this. Midas, sit down. Good. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Again, just keeping him in this heel position. Just gonna fix this lanyard here. Midas, down, good, heel, good, very good boy, so again we're going to bring him back inside now, nope, nope, <coughs> sit, heel, Nope. Sit. Good. Heading back inside now. So the same thing when we go back inside. Heel. Sit. Now what we'll do after this morning walk, or after this morning session. Nope. is bring him downstairs, feed him in his crate, and then he's gonna relax for a little bit. Yep.